Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sunday night. Come on and join me for the energy focus for the week. Lots going on this week. Big transition. Come on and join me. Let's talk about it over here on Facebook and Instagram as well. So welcome, welcome everyone. Terry and Hyman here. This is my Empowered Spirit Show, the energy focus for the week. We have a lot to talk about and what's going on. Lots of big shifts coming up. But let's start with the podcast. I had a really great guest on the podcast this week, Linda Sheeler. We talked about dreams, PTS dreams. So we even talked a little bit about nightmares, waking up with those intense feelings. All right, I talked about how I kept waking up with fear, which is a kind of a dream. When you wake up with those emotions, it's a nightmare. So she was really great in helping us to break down what our dreams are about, giving us uh, like ways that you can remember, how you can really even like anchor them in. Definitely check out the podcast. Great interview. It's actually not her first book on dreams. She has a couple of other books, but this one was particularly about nightmares, the things that scare us, and ways in which you can begin to really remember your dreams. So check it out. You can find it on all the podcast mediums or catch it on my website as well. So big shout out to my guest, I mean to my host, uh, Forecast Salon here in Homewood. They are a hair salon really dedicated to creativity and education, inspiring their people to inspire all those that they work with. So check them out at forecastsalon.com. All right, so this week we have so much going on. We are now moving out of that Mer that Mars retrograde, first and foremost. So you're going to start to see that Mars energy, Mars is action, fire starting to move forward. So just careful. Let things catch up. Now this week also we're going to start to move out of Mercury retrograde. That is our communications, our computer stuff. Yes, I did have to get a new laptop during this period. But also, too, and that's why we've been having all the airline stuff, all that kind of stuff. But careful, too, because whenever we start to go from that retrograde energy into the direct, into the stationing, there's always the shadow parts before and after. But also, too, things can be a little bit crazy until it settles down. So what's the best way to deal with it is ground your energy. Really call in the element of earth, ground your energy, be centered. Don't try to get too much of like a run and start this week, like really be calm and slow down. All right, after this week, we also have like Uranus going direct, which is like all these planets that have been in retrograde are now going to start to go. And many of the astrologers are talking about now's the beginning of the season, of the new year. So you might even feel it for yourself, like you want to push forward, you've got all this energy, but just take it easy. Take it easy. Let the energy catch up. We have Aquarius season coming in. The sun moves into Aquarius on the 20th, and then we have a new moon. So we've got lots of stuff going on. That moon is waning. It's getting smaller, darker the moon coming up. So you're going to start to feel even maybe like a little roller coaster going on. All right, we're mid-month, all right, 15th of the month today already. Can you believe it? This is actually the time, too. You may start to notice for yourself, like, you've been really good, and maybe you've been, like, back at the gym, or you hadn't been drinking. And about this time, you start to feel good. People start to let go of what those intentions are. So stay strong in your path. Renew what you're doing, especially as we start to switch around in our energy. Hopefully, you've done your work on cleaning up and releasing out and letting go, because we also have the New Year, the Chinese New Year coming in on the 22nd. So definitely a big week of shift. We're going to start to feel that moving forward. There's many predictions going on, especially with the Mars energy, especially out in the world at large. So really, it is a time to really be centered. Pull your energy into, the, into you. Don't let it be so wide open and out there. Pull it in. Take a little bit more of like a week or so. Don't be too quick to start to get your new projects out there. Just really kind of center, slow down, bring your energy in. This is a very energetic new moon. This is a new moon. Really, it's like almost like redo your vision boards or bring those vision boards back out and renew those intentions that you want to set for this year ahead. We're going to see that energy of the Aquarian um, come to light. The Aquarius energy, that's like that revolution, break free, get out of the box that you put yourself in, really tune into your energetic body, really turn into the energy and the inspiration of your visions. We're in winter, visions, dreams, all of this energy is really important for us right now. It is a time of evolution. 
We can no longer do what we've been doing. What we thought was safe is being broken up. All right, all of this energy is starting to shift around. So you holding your light, you holding your spirit, you doing your self-care. I've been saying this over and over. The greatest gift each of us can do right now is to do our own self-care. Do the healing within yourself, opening up to what's going on. What are the freedoms that you want to bring forward? What are the dreams? What are the visions? What is that knowledge? I mean, all this energy is what's coming around. So much more is going to be coming in. We're going to see the year is going to start to open up, but we do have to be careful of what our energy is, what we're projecting out into the world. So again, it's like pull it in, pull your energy back into you. Know what you're trying to manifest. Re-look re at those intentions, all right? We've got another couple of days, but look at those so that when the new moon comes in on Saturday, it's in Aquarius, all right? New moon is always relevant to where we are in the sun sign that you'll be able to set those intentions out there for you that you can then manifest and bring it forward but really again slow down pull your energy in really understand where those boundaries are for you ground your energy take some time for you and then i'm telling you after the next week and the next week and into february we are going to feel like we are moving so much faster. So make sure that you prepare your energy, do your work, meditate, learn some Reiki. I have a Reiki 1 class coming up if you're local or if you want to do some self-study one-on-one, both of those, but I do have one at the end of the month. This is the year to learn about your subtle body. I am so on a mission to teach about the subtle body. It's something that's not taught. It's something that we need to learn about. You know, I was just in like surgery and nobody in the recovery room had any idea what I was talking about with Reiki. All they wanted to do was give me drugs. I'm like, no, wait, I need to balance. Like I need to figure out what just happened to me. I was under, you know, anesthesia and they just want to give me more drugs. God bless our nurses. I love them dearly. They're overworked. They need help and they need tools and technology like Reiki energy. They really do. And I'm just like Reiki and they're like drugs. I'm like Reiki and they're like drugs. It was like this really silly chatter going back and forth but the truth is we do need reiki in our recovery rooms we need to educate and get it out there and it is a tool you can learn for yourself many people don't know that right they think oh let me go for a session yes you can but you can also learn it for yourself you can learn how to work with the hand positions find yourself balanced and centered exactly what i'm talking about right now so that's really the message for this week know your energy pull it in don't try to move too fast. Don't try to start something brand new yet. Give yourself another week or so, and then you're going to find that there's so much more ease and effortlessness in the way in which you put your work out into the world, all right? The new year is about to start, right? All of this leading up to it is really just helping us to reflect and look at what we've been through. Now it's the time to get ready, all right? Give yourself another week, especially as we move to the dark of the moon. Dark of the moon can make us feel dark, right? So wait till that new moon comes in on Saturday. Next week, you will definitely see a shift in energy. All right, so let's pull our energies in. Let's take a pause for a moment and set an intention, and then we'll look to the cards for guidance. So if you can, just take a moment, close your eyes, exhaling all the way down deep into the earth, Inhale, taking a nice deep inhale up the body. And just calling in the sacred elements, the fire as we light the sage, the air as we see the smoke, clearing the mind, clearing the thoughts, all that chatter. The element of water we call in for love of ourself, dropping into the heart, calling in the earth element to ground, calling in all the sacred elements. As you take a moment and call in your energy, pull it in, call in your spirit, the fifth sacred thing, your spirit, just affirming your spirit, affirming my spirit, taking another deep inhale and exhale right into the deepest part of your heart. Feel that connection, your spirit and the greater spirit. Know that you are known, know that you are loved and supported, feeling all this energy coming in around you. Taking a moment and noticing where you are right here on this great wheel of life. Noticing your dreams and your visions for this season of winter. Calling in the directions to the north, the east, the south, and the west. Above you, below you, right into the very center. Calling in the masters. Calling in the teachers. The archangels to fill your heart with love and joy. Calling the crystal beings for guidance, protection. 
Call in your own spirit guides to bring you the messages for this week. Taking another deep inhale, sending a little Reiki out to you, and setting an intention for this week. Feel it into your heart, that intention. How do you want to feel? And let that radiate out all around you. All for the highest good. Inhaling and exhaling. Grounding your energy. Centering. Just bringing your awareness back. Blinking the eyes open. Coming back. So the cards this week, they're kind of very interesting, all right? We have one upright, the rest are reversed. But we start out with the Father of Fire. So this is a card that reminds you, like, you have inspiration. You have the ability to have challenges in your life. People want to hear from you. It's like, put your work out there. Be inspired. Fire is passion, desire. What is your purpose? This is a card to remind you of your purpose, to remind you. It also has a little bit of that Mars energy because of the fire, right? But it is an influence of energy. So where does that look for you? What does that look like for you? Where can you bring that influence of your own work to be inspiring, to be that entrepreneur, to put it out there, to stand in your light, all right? Then we have the Fool card. I always have the Fool, but this is reversed. All right, so generally when the Fool card comes up, it's like taking a step forward. Like you have what you need. Don't be afraid to take that step. But when it's reversed, this is like, hold on, <laughs> gather all your tools so it goes with what we're saying about coming out of all that retrograde energy, right? Don't move too quickly this week. Let everything catch up with you. Get prepared because we always want to take that step forward. But this is like slow down, pull back, gather all your elements, get your sacred bundles ready, and then you'll be able to take this step after next week. We also have the two of water. This is always the lover's card, but it's reversed. So this is some of that Mars energy and Mercury coming out of retrograde. There's a little trouble going on maybe. The communication isn't as great as it is when this card is reversed. So what can you do in your relationships, in your heart, to turn this around? All right, take nothing personally. That's a great motto to think. It's one of the four agreements. Take nothing personally. Where can you clear this energy and turn it upright for you? All right, again, Mars Mercury coming out of that is communication. Mars is fire, passion, sexual energy. So careful where that comes up for you. Just pull back a little bit. Be patient. And then we have the daughter of air. It's reversed as well. So the daughter of air is like, yes, I can do it. Yes, I can try anything. Passion, fire, impulsive. But it is reversed. And again, the message is the same as what we've been talking about. Gather up that inspiration that that just want to do everything gather it up but not this week all right give yourself a break not this week to go jumping off cliffs and yes i can do it all pull your energy in get that sacred bundle together so you can be ready clear up your relationships whatever it is watch your communications watch that fire energy and then get ready to be inspired because you have what it takes to be out there in the world doing your work and being bringing it out into the world at large. All right, I think the cards are really, really very clear for this week and what we have going on. Let me know how they resonate with you, and if you would like a card, I'd be happy to pull a few for you as well. So as I mentioned, I do have a Reiki 1 class coming up at the end of the week next Sunday. Check it out. I will also be teaching in Tampa. If you're down in Tampa or actually St. Pete and want to learn, that's coming up in February. But this class in Birmingham, it is in person and it is on Sunday, the 22nd, next Sunday. All right, Maris, Mark and I would like cards. All right. Was that Annie Monroe? All right, and hello, Francine, as well. All right, let's see what we have for you guys today. Mark, Hanged Man. All right, so this is a card that says, look at life from a different perspective. Hang upside down. Let some of that energy come down to the crown. All right, pull your energy in. But I love this card because it gives you a little bit of patience with yourself. Look at life from a different perspective, all right? We don't always have to look at things from the same way. So change it up. Let yourself put your feet up and look at life in other ways. Let all that energy come down. 
All right, Marissa, we got the hermit. All right, so for you this week, I know what's going on. So for you this week, it's about shining your light. Be strong in your light, all right? Just hold that light for you. For the highest good is the best way to look at what's going on. But know what your light is and just let that shine for you as you move through this week, all right? This is a great card for that energy you're moving through. All right, anybody else? Let me know. I don't see as many on tonight. That is okay. Over here on Facebook. All right, yes, here we go. Mother of Fire. All right, we've got all this fire. This is this Mars energy, and this is, again, a card of, like, advocacy. Stand up for what you believe in. Be a really good trooper. All right, Annie, let me know how that works for you as well. All right, you guys. It is a time to harness your energy. Be strong in what you're doing. Ground and center. Careful this week not to go off too fast. Pull your energy in, get prepared. As we move to the end of the month and into February, you're going to see things will line up for you as well. Check out the podcast. Learn a little bit more on harnessing your dreams so that you can live the life you want to live. All right, everybody, have a great week. We're going to move out of this crazy energy. We're going to move forward in how we show up in the world and bring our work out as well. Taking a nice deep inhale before we close. Exhaling all the way down, returning to that intention that you set, feeling that energy right in your heart. Gratitude for your spirit. Gratitude for the greater spirit. Gratitude for showing up for you. Have a great week. Check out the podcast to your spirit. Namaste.